What's up guys, here's a little studio news update. Uh, yesterday was an amazing day uh, with the first day of documenting and filming people coming in here, which was awesome. So uh, it adds another element to my work and uh, allows me to share that, uh, those conversations and those connections with people that come through here. Uh, having an open studio like this is pretty crazy. And um, so today is Sunday and people from the cottage uh, country are on their way back to uh, their crazy lives in the city. And so they find a minute to maybe come through here. And uh, yeah, so we'll see what today has to bring. But for now, um, I'll post the uh, footage from yesterday and tomorrow I'll, uh, I'll add the footage from today and we'll, we'll play catch up that way so thanks for watching and uh, have a good day peace hey bonjour, bonjour ça va oui thank you. oui yeah bienvenue merci uh, ça dérange pas que j'ai je filme en ce moment are you filming me yes you're on my youtube channel <laughs> what do you think this is just a free ride you just <laughs> yeah, come in here I just, I just thought i'd come in and look around yeah, well, you're welcome to come and look around, but yeah, there's a live, like, sort of broadcast, you know, happening here. Yeah, but, is uh, there? Is there? Well, then perhaps during this live broadcast, you could tell me more about the black owls. Yes, I, I would love to. They're mystical uh, black owls that one in 100,000 survive in, in nature. So that when you see them, they're, they are uh, a rare occurrence. Okay. And um, they're just a piece that I... I'm presenting this summer uh, uh, as like a, a take home, carry away, you know, affordable price range. Mm -hmm. um, but also it's, it's a very cool artwork and the people that do bring it into their space um, love the energy that it brings and uh, it can be either put outside, it's cedar, it's protected with two coats of, of arbor coat. Uh, so it will withstand the, the elements okay. and uh, they come with a certificate of authenticity um, and they're numbered and signed and so some people uh, like that sort of element and uh, I'm an international artist so I'm trying to work my way into the art world and this is sort of my home base mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and uh, that's why I'm sort of broadcasting you know things and doing like shenaniganries and trying to like use social media to reach that market which is it's not easy it's it's very challenging mm -hmm. but uh, the art world is like a fishbowl and I'm just sort of at the bowl and you know knocking and and uh, looking for the proper representation to showcase some of this work that is like piling up um, there's a few pieces that I sort of want to like try to get in the next international art fair which is art toronto so i have to reach out to a few galleries there to see if they want to uh, represent me there with a few pieces like the the big black horse here and uh mm -hmm. and yeah so it's um it's part of the journey and you know having people come through i love that sort of vibe and i i, I have so many encounters i decided like I need to sort of film like some of these encounters because I feel like they float away and uh, and they're not they're not captivated and so like this is part of my story mm. of like making it to the art world so I'm sort of just gonna document it and see like if people are cool with it when they come if I film if not then sure like I'll turn off the camera and you can browse freely and uh, we can chat off camera but I figured like I would try it and you're actually the first person I creep up on with the camera <laughs> so like on my YouTube okay. channel today I was like I'm gonna see what happens today and like it's it's a good day to like sometimes it's 10 people in a day right. sometimes it's 20 and oftentimes it doesn't lead to a sale because a lot of the stuff here is like works in progress like all these white right. works you might fall in love with this right now but my mind and my process is preparing for a large show and they are getting like the abstract painted look like the bear up yeah, here. Yeah. So like things are in process. Some works are drying and waiting in line to be finished. Like the masks on the wall are 
about to get a clear coat. I've been working on, I'm all over the place, right? So it's uh, like artists need time to build up to a show. And, you know, the idea of like having to sell a piece to like survive next week, that's sort of out the door. Like with me, it's like I'm building up for a show and I'm putting them in the right place and, and then and then let let the collectors feast, you know, <laughs> so get the right people in the right room with the right things. Yes. And then and then we make magic happen. So, yeah. Yeah. There's so many influences here. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm inspired by history. Like, I'm an art buff. So, Egyptian, African, uh, fir First Nations. You know, it's just, I channel energy also of the wood. Mm -hmm. So, like, I work with those elements. But, like, as an artist, like, trying to make things in your own way and style takes time. And, like, you see these pieces here. They have chainsaw marks. Yeah, yeah. And the eyes are done in a certain way. And so, like, those are, like, my way of, like, getting my signature on my pieces. Mm -hmm. So, it's, uh, yeah, it's, a, it's a been a long process. And it's, like, it's amounting to this, like, energy source here. It's, it's, it's all in one place. This is about six months worth of, like, work. There's a few pieces that are, like, maybe four or five years old. Like, some that have been lingering around. But for the most part, it's a new body of work. And I'm just trying to put this show together and find the right place to have it and, you know, you know, have it, have it featured, have it shown proper mm -hmm. as a unit. So, um, well, I'm yeah. driving by because on the way to the cottage every weekend yes. and yeah. have never stopped. Right. But, yeah. I get that all the time. People are in a rush here. They're like, well, they're this is, this is cottage country. Mm -hmm. I'm in the middle of nowhere. So oftentimes like the traffic here is unbelievable. Yep. So if I can pull in the right people, they come to me by the end of the summer and they all have the same story. Like I've been wanting to stop mm. in. I've driven by a million mm. times. So like I'm sort of well known out here, although people yep. might not have the time or are too intimidated to come in here. So like I'm trying to like allow that to happen naturally and have it like, be a place of like art exhibition as opposed mm -hmm. to like mm -hmm. art sales. I'm not like trying to sell stuff to people. I'm exhibitioning, I'm showing, I'm opening my studio. Yeah. And uh, it's sort of like, I'm in the process also with Studio 352 of getting it registered as a nonprofit and getting grant money for like mm -hmm. public art mm -hmm. stuff, art mm -hmm. therapy, uh, artist visits, you know, with like, have like a little uh, a bunch of A-frames set up at the back yeah. where they could stay when they come. And also like the A-frames could be used for like art therapy weeks during the summer holidays yeah. for yeah. youth. And so like it's a big plan. That's like a two year long grant process that mm -hmm. I'm working with yeah, a yes. grant writer yeah. with. Yeah. So this grant writer is like donating his time and energy until the grants come through, which is amazing. And so that's all in the process of happening. But yeah, anyway. It's it's a long journey and um, it is what it is. I appreciate you letting me film this and I'll, I'll I'll sort of edit out what's good and and captivate the good moments and and uh, it's just it's awesome. It's a good exchange, right? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. So I'm doing all the talking. Like, what is what is your impression after coming in here and seeing you know the body of work and like. What do, you, what do you think about having this in your community? Having this particular exhibition in the community? I think, I, mean, I, think it's, yeah, I think it's fantastic. You know, I'm driving by, I guess I had assumed it um, was more in indigenous. And there are, so I see so many influences here yeah. that I hadn't anticipated. Right. So, so that's, that's surprising to me. So, I mean, not for me, that, I'm not indigenous. Yeah. I appreciate the culture. And as a kid, like, I, I grew up here. I was born here. But um, this territory that we're on, that I'm situated in, is, like, sacred territory. And there's energy here that is also influencing me, apart from, mm -hmm. you know, the, um, the influences from the art history part yeah, of it. Yeah. Um, so... Uh, and, and for an artist, I mean, I'm trying to just, it's coming out that way, but also 
the creator energy that the First Nations people, that the African people, that the Egyptians were connected to is still mm -hmm. around and I'm tapping into that. And it's just, it's, it's the way it's, it's the way it happens. I mean, yeah. it has that energy. Some, some people say it's First Nations or extraterrestrial. <laughs> you know, it ha can have enough, that vibe enough, also. But, uh, I, I, and I love, I love the wood. So I'm drawn to just the, you know, right. the, the plain, like, I mean, this is spectacular with all of the, right. You know, the See, these are in the process. They have the first coat of helmsman, mm -hmm. uh, which, you know, sort of like livens up and yep. brings we'll out, the, out the, the natural the elements of the wood. Mm -hmm. I don't use a stain. Yeah. So it's all natural yeah. with just the clear of the, of the yeah. helmsman. And, and like if you see, if you look at the totem, that's two coats. So it's got the satin finish, it's got a bit of the sheen. Yes, yes. Um, but if you leave it with just one coat, it's beautiful also. These are one coat with one season exposure to the sun and to the elements. So they will start to gray yeah, if you yeah. don't recoat it, you yeah. know, every two, three years. Um, so like some people do put the pieces outside yes. uh, and, and, and you know, give them that exposure and then bring them in, you know, and rescue them from that. And then, you know, so yeah. No, Look, I've got another visitor, or it's well, your partner, it's your friend, it's, your it's husband. husband. Yeah. Cool, awesome. We're being yeah, I'm kidnapping your wife. We're on YouTube now. <laughs> We're on YouTube. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I mean, it's it's part of the show, and like, uh, there's a lot of this that happens. And I, I I was telling your wife, it's hard. I'm trying to explain to people, like, you know these encounters that I have with people are priceless. And like, when you leave here, you're putting a token of energy towards my plan and my, my adventure. So that's like, it may not be a financial support, but it's an energy support. So I appreciate that. And, and you guys letting me film is like awesome. So like I was saying, it's the first day of me like turning the camera on in here on people. And so, it's like you're coming in, but yeah, now you're on camera. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah, so awesome. Thank you. I appreciate the visit, and I appreciate you guys letting me do this. You know, and it, it's been an awesome convo. Okay, cool. C'est votre journée. Uh, J'ai toujours la même histoire quand les gens viennent. C'est comme... Ils m'ont vu, ils ont, sont pressés, mais finalement, ils ont une, ils ont une minute pour venir. Fait que euh, vous êtes bienvenus de, de prendre votre temps puis de regarder. Je suis dans la préparation de faire un, une exhibition. Euh, je suis un artiste international et euh, c'est mon atelier. Et puis. Euh, see what this guy's got to say. So, um, French or English? Francais. Francais, okay. Cool. Uh, ça te dérange-tu que je filme une petite conversation avec toi? Ah non, je ne veux pas être filmé. Tu veux pas être filmé? Okay. Okay, je vais fermer le, la caméra d'abord. Puis... So basically, that in, that last encounter was like to be expected. Some people just don't want to get filmed, but right from the get go, that guy walked in. I said hello to him. He he had a hard time even say hello back. Some people just come in here, they start taking photos, they start you know they don't even know my name. They're posting you know photos of my art on their social media without uh proper you know hashtagging or recognition you know it's just there are certain things of etiquette that you should follow and basically when you want to show an artist's work or take a photo you you make sure to have that person's name so that you can credit that and uh and 
you know, it's just, it's the right thing to do. It's the right, proper thing to do. You don't just take, steal a photo of people's, you know, studio. I, it's a privilege that I let people come in here, you know. So it's very fragile. Some people, some, some artists lock themselves up until showtime and they don't, they don't even let the, the closest people to them enter the space and see what they're up to. You know, so I, I'm I'm out in the open. I'm in the elements. Like, you know, it's the tent is like there are priceless artworks in the tent. It's just open to the air, open to the, you know. Um, I'm hoping to get like proper studio space where I can lock things up and have more secure environment throughout, you know, the nature's elements and the storms and all that. But uh, and, and for winter mostly but anyways I'm in the process of getting some grant money through Canada Council of the Arts and I, with a grant writer so it's going to be a journey of messing around with that crap and um, we'll, I'll keep you documented on that process and where we're at but um, so anyway we'll see who else is going to come today already there's been three or four people uh, I missed uh, Mike the Miner and uh, he's a regular visitor a local legend he has a quartz mine in the area and stuff and has wood at times you know so he's there are people who are you know regulars that come see me or their wood sources or you never know so um, but uh, it's, uh, it's just part of it. Uh, we'll see. Oh, two cars. Two cars. Okay. So let's... Let's see. This is cool. What's up, guys? Bonjour. Welcome. Oui, ça va. Bienvenue. Uh, C'est correct que je, je filme quand vous êtes là? Oui. Ok, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Est-ce que vous êtes avec cette madame-là? Cool? Yes. Oui, ok. Les pantalons bleus, le chandail rouge, patin, bienvenue. Yes. Ok, so vous allez être sur mon YouTube aujourd'hui et vous êtes bienvenue de, euh, de voir toutes mes choses et tout. C'est oui. un procès. Yeah, ok. Est-ce que vous êtes local ou... Euh, vous venez de Gatineau, ok. Vous avez un chalet, vous êtes. Oui, en haut, euh, dans le coin de Skyrim. Ok, cool. Fait que vous avez passé plusieurs fois. Plusieurs fois. Ok, la même histoire encore, yeah. yeah. So, so aujourd'hui, c'est votre journée de faire la visite. Faire la visite, exactement. Ok, straight on. Merci, merci. Ah, oh, c'est cool ici. Ah, c'est un artiste, petit monsieur? Non. Non? Non. Ah, je suis sûr que tu es un artiste. Tu aimes créer, tu, tu, aimes, ex, tu aimes ton expression, tu as des souliers bleus, tu as des pantalons noirs avec une ligne jaune, tu es un artiste, tu t'expresses. Je ne sais pas Amazing. Yeah. So, Gar, tu es même un danseur. So, les danses et les arts aussi, oui. La performance. Hein? So, c'est. C'est euh, oui, tu es un artiste, ok? Quand la prochaine fois quelqu'un te demande, tu dis oui, je suis artiste. Ah. Cool, merci, merci. Je suis en préparation pour un, faire une exhibition. C'est. Euh, ici, c'est mon studio et puis c'est comme dans le milieu de. de. de la, la, les, les chalets et tout. Mais je vais avoir peut-être des expositions à New York et à autres places aussi, Toronto. 
Alors, c'est un, une aventure d'art internationale. Et puis, j'ouvre mon atelier à le public euh, pour montrer le procès et tout. Et puis, euh, c'est ça. Oui, oui. J'aime les visites comme ça, avec les, les enfants et tout. Ça donne une énergie pour partager euh, l'esprit de création. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Lui, <rire> c'est un danseur. <rire> oh, this is a beautiful day. So are you guys local or are you going to the cottage? Or? Yeah, we've got a cottage up in Gracefield area. Okay, cool. Yeah, so we always drive through Cass and make the pit stop at uh, Le Sac. <laughs> right. So, so you're here all the time? Yeah, basically, yeah. This is like my studio space and uh, I'm an international artist and uh, I'm sort of like building up towards uh, an exhibition and a few international art fairs. And uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm uh, just broadcasting my stuff on social media and like uh, on my YouTube channel. So uh, when I have people come visit here, like right now our conversation is like being filmed. If you don't mind that I use that, um, that would be awesome. Okay, so quite a few people came through today. I didn't get to film everything. A few people did not want to be on camera, which is cool and understandable, but uh, for the most part, I did get a couple good conversations, and I'm happy with that, and so uh, we'll be able to start uh, putting some of that on the channel here and uh, sharing uh, some of that uh, interesting uh, encounters that uh, I get to have here by having an open studio and uh, allowing people to come through so anyway it's been an awesome day I had really good vibes and um, uh, tomorrow is going to be another day I might get some work done and pretty well got not too much done today with all the uh, people coming through and chit chatting and and um, so those days are nice too plus uh, I gotta say like uh, this sort of work is hard on the body, so chainsawing through logs daily is really hard on the hands. So after a couple days of doing that, my hands sort of get really sore and numb, and I, I, I gotta sort of take a break and move on to something else. But uh, which is when I go to painting or or uh, doing other things. But uh, anyway, uh, tomorrow's another day. I'll probably go. Uh, and finish the uh, that second artwork that I had started which I was supposed to get to today and yeah so a bunch of stuff to do uh, and um, nothing all goes according to plan obviously but tomorrow's another day peace <laughs>